we have some very important breaking news. Information has come our way which very worryingly incriminates London's Metropolitan Police in secret targeting operations against members of the public. An individual has come forward and informed us about the police's participation in what is euphemistically called gang stalking. We can verify this person is a high-ranking official. These covert operations utilise personnel to stalk, harass and spy on the individual. A smear campaign is a common theme too and it's alleged the state will even stoop to using revenge porn and make it public to help de-person the target and help get members of the public on side. Of equally grave concern, people are moved in to become paid professional neighbours from hell and are provided with the technological means to carry out targeted noise campaigns, to sleep deprive and accurately target and harass the life out of that individual. Technology has a crucial role helping to furtively destroy these people. In no uncertain terms, this is an invisible state sanctioned torture program. To back up these very valid claims of the police being implicated in gang stalking, we have watched a video from one male who alleges he is a target. We can confirm it shows undeniable evidence of a character assassination. Worryingly, the police, instead of acknowledging the veracity of this very credible evidence, have gaslit it. Why would they do this unless they were involved in this illegal targeting program? An independent source, one who works in the field of professional counselling, has also watched the video containing some of the evidence and typed a brief report on his findings. It makes for some very troubling reading and certainly contradicts completely the police's assessment. From a neutral perspective, we have to agree with the counsellor. Something quite sinister is going on and we would like to get to the bottom of it. This individual lives in Peckham, South East London. He lives in this top floor flat with his brother and consents to his address being shown. He has told us his targeting began back in 2009, shortly after he attended a protest in the Square Mile area of London. He was there to take photos for his personal website, photoslondon.com. He was kettled by the police at this protest. From then to now, he has been subjected to the various components used in these targeting operations. We would strongly urge Scotland Yard to address these accusations of their part in the gang stalking targeting programme and why they saw fit to gaslight very credible evidence of character assassination, among other disturbing actions, including unwarranted mental health referrals. We request Cressida Dick's replacement or spokesperson for New Scotland Yard to make an open and honest public statement on this please as a matter of urgency and on that bombshell we'll be back tomorrow at six with more london wide news stories so have a good evening and bye for now